the TikTok ban bill that went through. When I say yeah. TikTok ban, it's not a ban, by the way. It's not. Can you explain a little bit about the bill? Well, I have a whole timeline of it. Okay. But before we get into the timeline, the, the TLDR, mm -hmm. Too Lazy Didn't Read, is that there is a bill that mm -hmm. says TikTok has uh, the ability to not only push influence operations to 170 million Americans that have the app, mm -hmm. but also technically has control over the app, period. Well, and so the CCP has control yeah, over CCP, the app. Yeah, mm -hmm. And potentially has the ability and has shown in the past has the ability to spy on Americans' data, right? Mm -hmm. Therefore, making it a national security concern, right? Yeah. Now, did the government say, the U.S. government say, we are absolutely going to ban this app? No. They proposed a bill that says, if ownership is taken away from the CCP, the Chinese government. Yeah, an adversarial country, and there's like four of them. Yeah, Iran, I think. China. It's Iran, China, North Korea, North Korea, and Russia. And Russia. So if, if a, basically an app or a news agency or anything operating within the United States is controlled by one of these adversaries, that's not okay. Because it's a national security yes. concern. That's not a free speech concern. Yes. So if TikTok manages to have a sale or get away from the leadership of the CCP, then TikTok will not be banned. Yeah. So it's not a ban. That's, mm -hmm. That needs to be addressed first and foremost. Yeah. Now, the big thing that you're about to get into here, just let me preface this, the Chinese government has claimed for years now yeah. that it has absolutely no say. It's done everything in its power to make sure it runs kosher. Yes. It runs by American laws. It is not a national security concern. And so, therefore, it would it would uh, be smart to say that the, the Chinese government has, if they have no say in this app, then they're not going to get involved. Yeah. However, they just can't yeah. stop talking about it. No. Well, again, if you're going to pretend as if you have no stake in this app as the Chinese government, why would you fight so hard to try and make sure that the status quo doesn't change? But they said they have nothing to do with it. Yeah. So, so why are you having your top government officials talking about it? Yeah, exactly. Does that make sense? So uh, here's the foreign spokesperson from uh, China goes and says, if national security can be abused to bring down other countries competitive companies, uh, there will be no fairness or justice at all. It is uh, sheer gangster logic to try every means to snatch from others all good things that they have. I'm sorry, I just I heard something else when he was speaking. It was so weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Wang yes. Bin. Mm. So, I mean, gangster logic to snatch what others have. So what the Chinese government has is what you're trying to say? What is that called? That's just straight on projection. So anyway, the fact of the matter is um, uh, it's, it's hypocritical about this national security thing, okay? Because each and every website and social media application from the West is blocked and banned in China, every single one. And it's some people will say like, oh, that's because they just didn't agree to, you know, stick by China's laws. That's not true. Because I was in China when the first bans started to mm -hmm. happen, mm -hmm. when Facebook was first banned, when YouTube was first banned, and they didn't have laws in place. They implemented laws after the fact. Yeah, that's that's not even an issue, to be honest. The yeah. fact, not not mm -hmm. to belittle what you're saying, but yeah. like that's a poor argument is what yes, I mean. Yes, yes. What I'm trying to say is that if you're blocking and banning all foreign businesses from running social media apps like TikTok yes. right, in your own country, which is what China does, blocking literally everything, Guess what? Literally. China actually blocks TikTok. That's my point. They ban TikTok. You can say whatever you want, <laughs> yeah. but don't send your foreign ministry out to defend your CCP-run app, by yes. the way. Yes, yeah. And then say that this is a freedom of speech issue and it's bullying on yes. behalf and of the Chinese just a American it's, government. It's a private company or and It's whatever. a private company. When you block it, <laughs> yeah. TikTok is blocked in China. Mm -hmm. They block TikTok. So yeah. why would they even care if America blocked it? Oh, yeah. I wonder why. Maybe it's because it's a freaking influence operation yes. from the CCP. Why would the criminal government of the Chinese government rush out there to yeah. go and defend this app so hard? Exactly. That's It's very telling. Now, even before we continue, I want to tell you the difference between a ban in China and a ban in the United States. Let's say that TikTok doesn't divest and this bill goes through and TikTok gets banned in the USA. Okay. Okay. By banned, it won't be allowed to be sold in the app stores. Mm -hmm you will still be able to access it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you an example. This remote control is the TikTok servers. Mm -hmm. You have your app installed on your phone, okay? If it's already installed or you sideload it from whatever thing, your app can still talk to the server and get all the information. It'll still function. 
In China, when they ban something, they block all access to the server. Yes. So, for instance, if you're in China and you have the Facebook app or you have the even the TikTok app right now and you try to open it, it just says server not found. Yeah. Cannot connect. Check your internet connection. Because mm. they block the ports, they block the IPs, they block all access to that service. So China actually bans things. In America, it's not banned. Liquid Fox says it's a force to go public, not a ban. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. It is not a ban. It's not a ban. It's literally saying... Play by the rules. TikTok can remain. Yeah. But it just cannot be controlled by an adversarial government. Does that... I mean, it's not even the same as China's logic. It's a national security logic. Yeah. And most people in the government are on board. By Again, the way. I, another thing I want to say here is because there's a lot of pushback by these, um, uh, you sort of, I, I don't, I kind of want to call them faux patriots. Yeah. Fake patriots yeah. who are like, a lot of those. oh yeah, well, you know, our government controls what we see and they want to ban all this crap. Here's the thing. Okay. Just imagine. A Chinese police station opens in uh, New York. I know it already happened. Yeah. But I'm yeah. just saying, let's say one opens publicly. Sure. And Chinese police start going out and arresting people on the streets. Okay. Just because they break Chinese law or something. So they just go in and in arresting. America. In America. Okay. And then these stupid faux patriots say, oh, yeah, well, our police arrest people too. Yeah. So that's what they're saying. Yeah. It it's doesn't okay. matter. It's okay if a foreign adversarial yeah. government can run an influence operation on hundreds of millions of Americans. Yeah, because your government does because it. Because our government does, in your, in your yes, mind, sure. does the same thing. That's the, thing, the place where we have to separate things yeah. here. Is this app um, is controlled by the Chinese government. And, they, and, and that's another thing. People are like, oh, yeah, well, I've gotten banned off YouTube for saying this and that. And I've never been banned off TikTok. And I've never been banned off Weixin. Guess what? Criticize... The Chinese government, even a little on those apps, and you will get banned. I made a TikTok account, mm -hmm. put my most mild content on there, and yeah. I was removed for the most absurd reasons and then permanently banned. Mm -hmm. yeah. So guess what? TikTok, you never gave me an answer. And I'm a public figure, yeah. right? We mm -hmm. were, I've asked multiple times, I've done like five exposés on sure. TikTok and how much propaganda I found from China on there. Yeah. And there's been studies that the majority of messaging coming out of China on TikTok is propaganda. Right? Yeah, yeah. And they've been caught multiple times accessing Americans' user data. But you've never given me an answer as to why I was banned yes. as a public account on TikTok for posting anti-CCP content. Why Correct. Why did that happen? Please tell me, because you've, you've said in court now mm -hmm. that you don't do that. No, but they do. I mean, the thing is, for people that are saying that, well, you know, Facebook and all that censors me, but uh, TikTok won't, it's only because you're you can criticize the American government all you want. Yes. On they any want, app in America. Especially on TikTok, because yeah. that's what they want. You can cause insurrection and you can yeah. try to burn down your entire government and they will allow it. Oh, they love because it. Because they want that. They love it. But try to say anything bad about Xi Jinping or, you know, start talking about Tibet or Tiananmen Square or Uyghurs or whatever, and you will get censored immediately. I want to do And there's a, no recourse. I want to do a TLDR before we, we go mm -hmm. on here. Just so you're armed, right? Because mm -hmm. we've done so much research about this. So you are armed in any potential debate at the dinner table or argument about this bill. Sure. It is not a ban. Not a okay? ban. So every time people push back, whether it's a politician or a public figure or somebody on the media or someone in your school, right? Yeah. And they say, we don't want them to ban TikTok. They're going to ban TikTok. This isn't fair. They're just trying to remove our freedom of speech. It's not, and that's a lie. You can completely discount what they've said after that because they haven't looked far enough into the bill to understand that that is not the case. Yeah, and there are a lot of people, when you do call them out on that, they're like, yeah, well, it's a slippery slope because they can just suddenly call anyone a foreign adversary and then That's like block it. That's not how things and... work. No, they didn't of just course. go, oh, China bad now. So <laughs> I know. Say, you, just gotta, okay, you just got to put out there what's out there. But yeah. I love this quote because this guy, Mario, uh, sorry, Marco, he's an Italian businessman out of Shanghai and he always is kind of on the nose with this stuff. And he said, uh, this is top communication must be taught in all political science classes. Complaining about freedom of speech and competition on uh, platform X using VPN to bypass their own law, <laughs> okay, this being unlawful, top level. And this is what's being said by the spokesperson, because by the way, they won't shut up about defending TikTok. They're like, this TikTok bill passed by the US House of Representatives puts the US on the wrong side of the principles of fair competition and international trade rules. Says the country that bans <laughs> all the American businesses. Yes. 
And that's why I love the fact that readers added context here where they say X, Google, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Twitch, Pinterest, Wikipedia, Reddit, and various other Western services have been banned by the Chinese government for many years. So what is this about fair anything? What is it? China's not fair. They don't play fair. But they harp on about, suddenly harping on about the First Amendment in their Global Times articles and stuff, how, where China doesn't have that. How can a country with a zero amendment <laughs> yes. talk about the First Amendment? Anyway, moving yeah. on. We got some good data for you. Mm -hmm. Well, even before that, I caught them out. Oh, okay. <laughs> this dude is a yeah. legend. <laughs> so uh, the Global Times put out an article. It said, in response to the U.S. bill that forces an ownership change of TikTok, China's Ministry of Commerce <laughs> spokesperson person ha no, sorry he, ya dong, said on thursday that china will take all necessary measures to firmly safeguard its own legitimate rights gotcha that is a gotcha gotcha see how china state media and the government said it would safeguard china's legitimate rights and not tiktok's legitimate oh, rights oh snap cats you out of the bag it. cats out of the bag it's always been china's interests all along oh my gosh i mean you know what's so crazy to me is mm -hmm. if you just shut up about it you probably have a better chance because yeah. this is going to go into the the whole thought process behind the bill yeah is when your government officials are are verifying <laughs> the speculation yes look they are they're after china's interests China's own legitimate rights, said by the Chinese government, and the Global Times is state media from China. Oh my God. And the own Chinese, look, this is literally the China's Ministry of Commerce. Oh my gosh, that's a quite a gotcha moment you yeah. got there. Nice call. So they only care about China's interests, and that interest is to use TikTok as an influence operation. And why would they ever give that up? That they've it's managed. The, it's the most important thing they've ever done to the American populace. Yeah. They've managed, and whether it's whether it's overt Chinese propaganda or not, which is yeah. usually not, even though it's in there. Yeah, it's dividing the American populace. If they can have an app that feeds into people's worst things, worst uh, paranoias about the government, yeah, worst theories about their their neighbors' political beliefs, yeah. and manage to create that epic epic rift and destroy really destroy the fabric of society in america sure. it doesn't matter whether they get people to like china or not they've no. already got their goal done exactly right but this 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 article that was put out is clear evidence that the chinese government is heavily invested in tiktok the use, chinese government use that in court yeah please this is the one you could show to your your friends when you're having an argument this is the chinese government going out there and being all blustery about how they're going to defend their legitimate interests and their legitimate rights because That's it's nuts. all about That's them. absolutely yeah. insane. Like yeah. the, am the amount of disconnect that yeah. was between the, the publicity person that wrote this and yeah. the actual spokesman. Yeah, because <laughs> like, like, you know, the, the yeah. CEO of TikTok and stuff is going out there like, oh, well, no, China's got no control. There's nothing about China here, blah, blah, blah. It's our own separate thing. It's not. China is so invested in this that they've sent their foreign spokespersons and their ministries of commerce and all this, and nonstop for days and weeks now have been putting out threats. Yes. Okay. Yeah. From the Chinese government. Yes. As you can see from some of the things I posted here. But let's carry on with this. Carry on, my wayward son. Mm -hmm. Classic me. <laughs> I love this. Me never downloads TikTok China. All right then, keep your secrets. <laughs> it's very accurate, isn't it? it? Is. It is. Yeah. Okay. So. So I have a timeline here. Mm -hmm. uh, Go for from it. Axiom. Yeah. Um, and this is this is really good perspective on why this isn't some flash in the pan thing that yeah. was just drafted overnight because people are worried about TikTok, right? This was long thought out. Yeah. So the first thing it says the big picture. FBI's a years long warning. The FBI for years has said that TikTok could pose national security risks. Warning that the Chinese government, though uh, through its alleged relationship with ByteDance, that's the parent company. Mm -hmm. Uh, may be able to control software on millions of devices in the U.S. or conduct influence operations through the app. The concern stems from the Chinese Communist Party's massive sway over private corporations in China, where executives and companies have in the past been punished for not conforming to party lines. The Chinese government said it will oppose any attempt to force ByteDance to sell its stake in the U.S. version of the app, and TikTok has denied accusations that the CCP controls it. So that uh, the rich irony there. Yeah. The CCP, by the way. Yeah says that they won't or the chinese government says no we won't allow them to sell yes but there's no no yeah yeah they, we won't allow them to sell but we don't have anything to do with it so they've been warning <laughs> for ages 
Trump actually came up with a forced sale, right? Then President Trump spearheaded the initial effort to ban TikTok with an executive order in 2020, citing national security concerns. He pushed for an acquisition by Microsoft, which fell through. Software giant Oracle then made its own bid to become TikTok's trusted technology partner in the US. After much pressure, TikTok agreed to protect US data through an alliance with Oracle. So that was the first agreement that they yes, made. Yes. However, that didn't stop China's influence operations over the app because ultimately, if the CCP has any sort of control over any company, period, yeah. they will always have sway over it. I mean, right. and it's been proven again and again mm -hmm. that uh, user access, uh, yep. data was accessed from China, yep. you know, that they tracked those reporters. There's, there's a ton of actual case studies and the, the leaked uh, messages and stuff. The Chinese uh, ByteDance employees can access yes. the data. Remember, this is over the internet you can access anything you don't need to physically be somewhere to access it they have full access and even if they didn't they could fly over here and access whatever they want and implement it's, whatever they want that's all speculative by the way yeah but, but it's that's like within reason yes like, to, to, to i'm just saying it's that. within reason this yeah. whole idea of like oh we're going to keep the data here this is not china yes. okay chinese People from ByteDance, the actual Communist Party members, can fly over to America anytime, go into the TikTok offices or access the TikTok servers, or go and tell the TikTok employees, hey, this is what you got to do, and there's, they're going to do it. And again, that's that's all speculative, but there's yeah. been so many uh, interviews with people that work for TikTok yeah. that have corroborated a lot of what you've just said. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Anyway, um, so what, what, what happened in 2022, Project Texas happened. Mm -hmm. In June 2022, after long-standing pressure from the U.S. government, TikTok began routing all U.S. user data to Oracle's cloud infrastructure, and that was to get U.S. data away from China, right? Yeah. Oracle then began vetting TikTok's algorithms and content moderation models to ensure they aren't manipulated by Chinese authorities, right? Step in the right yeah. direction. Yes. The move was a part of Project Texas, a $1.5 billion plan aimed at ensuring Americans that TikTok is safe, their data is secure, and the platform is free from outside influence. The project name refers to Oracle's headquarters in Texas. Uh, TikTok had been preparing to, uh, Project Texas for over a year by separating U.S. operations, backend functions, and code, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, here's the problem. In that amount of time it took to do that, right? Yeah. You, we were still seeing so many examples of Chinese propaganda being proliferated through TikTok. Still do. CCP talking points. Still do. Content removal based on uh, on anti-CCP talking points. That's when my account was removed. Yeah. Right. Look, at, again, it doesn't matter where the data is stored. Yes. Because you can still tell the algorithm to do what you want. Mm. Okay, it doesn't matter mm. at all. And you can still access that data too, because mm. remember, it's stored there legitimately. And then like uh, somebody in Beijing wants to find out a certain user's data, very simple. Just get the authorized person in TikTok to access it the, for The you. thing is, at the end of the day, if, give a you CCP, that access. If, if a CCP branch is in control yeah. of a company, which every company basically has in China, yes. then you, you can't throw anything away. So in March, 2023, there was a congressional testimony. Yeah. The uh, TikTok CEO, he uh, had a hearing for lawmakers who fiercely advocated for banning the app. Chu at the time uh, repeatedly downplayed the app's connections to China and referenced TikTok's unprecedented data security practices compared to unnamed social media competitors. Still, members of the House Committee on Energy and Commerce came out in, full, uh, in support of a full ban of the app in the U.S. And then, let's bring it up to here, February 2023. Uh, Biden administration action, uh, action. The Biden administrators uh, sought to regulate TikTok and the banned app from federal devices in February 2023. Yeah, they still used it for courting young voters. Mm -hmm. uh, continuing on. Okay. And let's bring it up to modern day. May uh, 2023, there was a state TikTok ban in Montana. So right. what happened is Montana said, uh, we're going to go past this. Yeah. We believe this is a problem sure. and we'll ban it in our state and states can do that. However, yeah. A federal judge in November blocked the ban before it took effect. Yeah. Right. So this is, they were kind of like a canary in the coal mine. Well, they tried. They tried. Right? They tried. And then in 2024, Congress moved forward with the TikTok bill. So this is where it stands now. House committee voted uni unanimously last week to advance bipartisan legislation. Bipartisan, if you're not American, means Republicans and Democrats came together and said, yes, this is very bad. Yes. We need to do something about this. It's good when you see that happen. It, it means there's actually a problem. Yes. yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, legislation that would force ByteDance to divest its TikTok app ownership within 165 days. Um the House on Wednesday passed a bill. It was 352 to 65 to one vote. Mm -hmm. President Biden was, has promised to sign it if it passes the Senate. And mm -hmm. some lawmakers indicated over the weekend that they're undecided on the legislation after being inundated with calls from constituents angry about a possible ban. And that'll lead us into some. Yeah, this is, uh, this is where it proves. TikTok actually proved why it is a threat. Yes. 
So this is what it looked like. 352 people supported. It was basically mm -hmm. almost an even split between Republicans and, Dem Republicans and Democrats. You had some opposition, 65 votes, and we looked into some of those people, and I will highlight some of their arguments against okay. the ban. Sure. Uh, so, and some people did not vote, of course. You yeah. always get a little smattering of that. Mm -hmm. Spineless. <laughs> <laughs> so let's look at the Republican side of things. And again, this is... So this is somebody who tried to stop the bill going yes. through. This is not indicative of the Republican stance on the bill. Remember, most Republicans supported the, the bill, right? Yes. So this is an example of a Republican that did not support the bill. Mm -hmm. This is Senator Rand Paul. Okay? Yeah. TikTok is banned in China, Paul said. We're thinking, or people who want to ban it are thinking, wow, we're really going <laughs> to defeat the Chinese communists by becoming Chinese authoritarians and banning it in our country? TikTok is banned in China, so we're going to emulate the Chinese communists by banning it in our country. Tell me why that's a weak argument. Well, because it's nothing like what the Chinese government does. No. Uh, like I said, the ban is not even the same kind of ban. The Chinese government doesn't need to pass laws through senates and houses and voting and all this kind of stuff. The Chinese government just says, we don't want people to access Facebook because, you know, then we can't control it. So let's block it. Yes. And they block it the same day without telling anyone. Yeah. I was there. I was there. Facebook got blocked. And it was a matter of I was using Facebook and I refreshed the page and it said 404 not found. Yeah. And it never came back. Nope. Same with YouTube. Same with everything vote. else. No, there's no vote. Nobody knows about it. Nobody's told about it. It, it just goes down. My problem with <laughs> Rand Paul's argument here yeah. is it's wrong. It it's is wrong. not a ban. No. This is not the same as China. So he's saying he's using that really farcical logic of saying yeah. like we're going to be just like china and just ban a free speech app that's not what the bill is what do you think his motivation is we've gotten into that in the past mm. and it, it is speculative but one of his largest donors is one of the biggest shareholders in america of tiktok stock. well that's probably why his name is rand like the like the money like the currency oh, that's what it's all about that's a deep yeah. cut <laughs> that's a deep, I don't how many rands did they you know show throw your way so let's look at an uh <laughs> opposition uh from a democrat mm -hmm. Okay, so that was from a... the other side of the pond. Yeah, let's look at the other side. Not pond. That'd be the UK, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. From the other side of the political spectrum, we have AOC. She says, I'm voting no on the TikTok forced sale bill. Mm -hmm. uh, Ocasio-Cortez said in a post on X, the platform formerly known as Twitter. This bill was incredibly rushed from the committee to vote in four days with little explanation. There are serious antitrust and privacy uh, questions here, and any national security concerns should be laid out to the public prior to a vote, she added. That they is have. wrong! Ding, 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 wrong again! Yeah. On the other side of the political spectrum. How long has this been shown I mean, as being a threat? The FBI has warned about this for years. Yeah. People like us and other journalists at New York Times and Forbes and CNN have warned, warned people about this for years. Yes. Employees at ByteDance and TikTok have done questions and interviews that have exposed how it operates for years. How many testimonies have we had in court with the CEO and people that have worked there hmm. for years now? We yes. are very aware of how, how bad this is. There have been very high profile cases and it's not speculation, it's not alleged, actual, you know, TikTok admitting that they, for instance, stalked journalists yes. and found because they had TikTok on their phones, they could use the IPs to find out exactly where they were and they were following them around. Do you want that to happen to you? Do you want the Chinese government to be able to do that to you? Mm. Because they did. They did. They did. And it's been proven. Yes. And they've done tons of things like this. So, you know, come on. So let's look at somebody that agrees with the bill. I mm -hmm. just thought it would be fair to show. Sure. Let's show. We're show showing all sides here. We're showing, you know, donkeys and what is it? Elephants? Elephants, yeah. yeah. House Republicans are bringing up the bill through... This is a Republican. House Republicans are bringing up the bill through a special rule that requires two-thirds majority vote uh, majority to pass the measure rather than a simple majority needed to pass most House bills. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike Gallagher, Republican Wisconsin, uh, chair of the House Select Committee on the Chinese Communist Party and lead co-sponsor of the bill expressed confidence that it would pass, saying Tuesday that there is a great bipartisan core behind the measure. And I wanted to highlight his, you don't have to like him, by the way, and his politics. Sure, you don't have to like anyone. Anyone. But what he said, the great bipartisan core behind this, there is something fishy if somebody is in opposition to a bill. To yeah. me, to me, this is to me. There's something fishy if you're in opposition to a bill that is clearly trying to stop a national security threat from yeah. an adversarial government that has done so bloody much to influence the U.S. Yeah. over the past how many years now, yeah. and has just time and time again shown its true colors and what its you know maniacal goals are at this point, yeah. and how much damage it can do through an app like TikTok. Yeah, 
if you have Republicans and Democrats agreeing on this, that's not like some lobbyist of, of like, you know, coming down from the heaven, the heaven saying like, I have a lot to, a lot of money to give if you say yes to this bill. <laughs> yeah. It looks a little fishier if you're against the bill. Yes. For a private company that yes. has lots of shareholders. Right? Yes, it's a exactly. little fishier. Today. It's a little fishy. By the way, uh, something that I've noticed as a bit of a trend here, because of course I'm very, very much behind this bill. Yes. And I very much behind the idea of the Chinese government not having influence over everybody's uh, news feeds, basically. Yes. And every time I've posted something on Twitter, the people that oppose me, okay, the people that are like, oh, yeah, well, you know, the American government's just as bad, this and all this kind of crap, right? I go and look at their profiles just as a, like a case study. I go look at their Twitter bios, and they're usually reposting tanky stuff, pro-Russia mm -hmm. stuff, mm -hmm. you know, pro-China stuff, yep. all this. And I've come to realize that the people, honestly who don't want this bill to go through, they hate their own government so much that they think the Chinese government is better than their own government. Yes, yes. They really do. Yeah. They have been brainwashed into thinking that the American government is worse than the Communist Party of China. Yes. And if you actually think about that for a second, because they're so freaking ignorant. Because, of course, when you live in America, you only see American politics, blah, 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 yeah. every day. Yeah. So that's you know what's going on there, right? You're yeah. well versed in that, whichever sure. side you are, whether you're on the, the reds or the blues, you know, yeah. it doesn't matter. But you're so ingrained. It's such a big part. Uh, by the way, I do think it's kind of pathetic as an outsider just how much politics matter to people. Mm. And I think it's good to... Be involved in like what your government does but the fact that it it takes over people's lives so much here yeah it's kind of pathetic but i'll give it to you okay that's your life that's your you're obsessed with your government like you're obsessed with football okay that's fine you do that but you're not educated on what the chinese government is you haven't been obsessed with them your whole life. You don't know the ins and outs of them. You cannot say they're better just because you don't like your own government. The Chinese government is far worse than the American government. They do not care about your freedom of no. speech. They do not care about your rights. Okay? And this is what people think. They think, oh, my government, they want to say this. So, you know, China or Russia is better. They care about what my values are. They don't give a shit about your values. In fact, they're so racist and xenophobic that they just have, you, you cannot become a Chinese person. You can't go to China and, like me, live there for 14 years, be married to a local. You cannot become a Chinese citizen. I cannot hold a Chinese passport. It's impossible. But guess what? A Chinese person or a Russian person or whatever can come to America mm -hmm. and they can become an American citizen. Yeah. Okay. If you want to talk about rights and if you want to talk about freedom of expression and that kind of thing, America is your place. And your government, with all its faults, is still far better than an authoritarian shit human rights abusing piece of crap government that only cares about its control over its people all right stop thinking the ccp is better than your stupid government okay to cap your excellent speech off i want to mm. say that those people are the to me the mm -hmm. very evidence that TikTok does work yes. as a psyop influence operation yeah. from China. Correct. It does. They see night night views of Chongqing or something, yeah. and they're like, look how advanced China yeah. is. It's shit. And they get fed. Go live in Chongqing, feed, you'll hate it. 90% of their feed is America bad. Yeah. People are so consumed with America bad because of these influence operations. Yeah. We've seen it. Absolutely. Seriously, yeah. go go live in Chongqing for a couple of years and come and tell me that it's great. Yes. You'll freaking hate it, especially the kind of people that are all about my expression and my freedoms and stuff. They will freaking hate it. Yes, we are dwelling, but this yes. is important. We're going to rip through the, the yeah. rest of this. Okay, now, this is, again, this is proof yeah. that TikTok is bad, all yeah. right? What did Representative Scott Peters say, Democrat California? What did he say? So remember last time we showed you that uh, TikTok put up like a splash screen. Yes. When you opened the app, it said, like, let your your representatives yeah. know that you, you're not in support of this ban, okay? Or this this bill, sorry. So um, you had to dial the phone number on the screen before you could enter the app. So a lot of people were just hanging up when they connected, said committee uh, member Republican Scott Peters. So Rep that, representative. Sorry, rep represent. You see, American yeah. politics, don't use REP, okay? Use DEM or REP. Just say 
representative. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is that splash screen came up and you couldn't enter your TikTok. So, you know, you've got all these teenagers. They just want to scroll through, I don't know, paint buckets falling on people's heads or whatever, right? Sure, that's or a some bit love. St stupid dancing bikini thing or whatever. Yeah. That's all they care about. So they want to see the dancing bikinis. Okay, they're sitting on the, on the toilet. Okay, they're about to pinch one out and they just want to see that. And this thing pops up that says phone to show your support, right? And they like, get the hell out of here. But there was no way to close it. There wasn't a little X, nothing like that. You had to click call. So after you finish the call, then you're allowed to go watch your stupid bikini crap. So they would click call and then hang up immediately because they just want to get into the app. I love how un unbelievably <laughs> intrusive that yes. is. So um, the thing is... Um, Later, TikTok said like, oh, that was just like a design error that people couldn't see the X, but we fixed it later. You know, the X to get it. Of course, that's rubbish. They were trying to force their entire user base to spam the American government. Yeah. All right. I mean, if that's not an influence op, then what is? freaking What is? It is? Yeah. So some users said on X that they were unable to use the app before placing the call. TikTok told the New York Times that users could swipe right to get rid of the messages, which... Uh, may have been confusing because users typically swipe up to see the next video on the app. The company also said that the X to close the page wasn't visible for some users at first, but that it uh, later fixed that. So by design, they made it so that people could not enter the app without phoning their That's representative. That's insanity. Yeah. That's insane. It is. It's blackmail. It's literally but it you want to you want to see those bikini dancing turd burglars whatever the hell you do. <laughs> I don't, you know what I mean? You want to watch Orbeez being poured into a swimming pool? Yeah. You want to see that? Well, yeah. you phone this government office and complain first and yeah. then you get to see your bikini garbage. Yeah. Honestly, that's what it was. Yeah. How how much of an example do you need that this is a very influential Well, let's app. keep showing stuff. Okay, cuz dude, the Chinese government just needs to turn something like that on. Yeah. Say so like, oh, you want to see your bikinis? Go do this first, you know? Right. So, bikinis. Well, that's what people watch on that crap, stupid dances and stuff. Um, Representative Andy Barr says, the Chinese Communist Party is using TikTok to spread lies to my constituents. This is not a TikTok ban, but yeah. would strip ByteDance, an arm of the CCP espionage, from the ability to spy on American citizens. I look forward to voting in support of this bill to protect national security. Here's, here's another thing that shows you how intrusive this app is. When you click call a representative, it knows where you live. It knows where you are. So Yikes. it automatically connects you to your representative. Oh, because it's like GPS. Yeah, because look yeah. here. When you click call now, it says representative Andy call Bar, now. District K-Sick. Tell them to stop a TikTok shutdown. No CODs. Call now. Do I mean, do you understand how bad that is? Yes, I am very aware. It's, so they know your representative. Yes. The Chinese government the Chinese knows. Chinese government knows your yeah, representative. Yeah, knows exactly who oh, your but, representative oh, but, but is. the data stored in American soil. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's still owned by China. So, hey, guys. This is crazy. Doesn't it Ima just... <laughs> imagine supporting this. Imagine not supporting this bill after being faced with what they've done. Yeah. I could see being skeptical about the bill leading up to this. Yes. Like if you didn't, if you didn't know anything. If you yeah. Didn't, if you're not like a China watcher like us, right? Sure. But after the response of what they've done to users in mm. this death throes of trying to get it not banned or whatever, sure. I think you'd be crazy. I think you'd be crazy not to support it. Yeah, it's you absolutely know? insane. Um, so, yeah, this is, again, proof. And then they haven't stopped there. They've just released this today, okay, to say um, TikTok is uh, back again, lying about our bill. This is the Select Committee on the Chinese, Chinese Communist Party. Uh, the first two times, number one, um, it was oh, voted 50 to zero. Yeah. And number two, it was voted uh, 352 to 65, as we know. Yeah. Our bill is not a ban. It allows TikTok to divest from CCP control. One thing they have right, the Senate vote is coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, TikTok has just put this out. Your voice can protect the community you love. And again, they're like, let, basically let your uh, representatives know, mm. spam your government, annoy the crap out of your government, do our bidding because we need you to, you know, yeah. influence politics yeah. <laughs> right there. So again, this is absolute proof of how powerful this app can, can be and how influential it can be. Yeah, what do we got here? Well, <clears throat> it's only fair to throw in a little bit of this kind of nonsense here because you got Tucker Carlson, for those of you who don't know, is um, somebody who's very impressed with Russian supermarkets, I'll yeah. tell you that much. Oh, come on. 
Mm. Seems like he's getting on board with some Chinese talking points as well these days. I, again, I, also, I think I, I think his name is called America Bad, isn't it? Isn't his nickname? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tucker, yes. Carl, Tucker America Bad Carlson. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, uh, from a very popular uh, conservative talk show host, I, I, I think it's just America Bad. It's beyond conservative now. Well, I mean that he went from yes, that yes. to being yeah. a full-on uh, Russia and China shill. He's now got Russia. Uh, sorry, Chinese. Uh, social media accounts, and yeah. he's going down that route. So you know, it's it's an unfortunate thing to see yeah. somebody who seemed fairly reasonable turn like, into, or at least like a patriot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he seems very very against America these days. So anyway, um, he put out a thing saying this is Republican. Uh, this representative. is that represent. Come on, again, this is representative. He's Republican though, isn't he? he is. So there we go. This time hey, I was this right. This time you got yeah. because. Of- the clocks, you know, what <laughs> yeah. is that? The clocks, yeah, right. right. At least the broken least. clocks, right? At least once yeah. a day. Yeah. yeah. So this time, uh, Representative Dan Crenshaw, who, by the way, looks like a, a Marvel villain oh, or we something. All know. We you all know, know, with his eye, eye patch. Pretty cool. He's kind of cool. I like his profile pic. Um, I don't know about his politics, but he looks cool. <laughs> he looks cool, yeah. Um, as he walks out of the Capitol after voting to give Joe Biden the power to shut down news sites that dare to challenge Do him. Do you see how loaded that language is? Yeah. That is such nonsense. Sense. This bill is not a Joe Biden thing, by the way. No, this, he this said bill, he would sign it because he supports it. He didn't come up with it. This this bill has literally bipartisan from both sides, yes. and it's the select committee yeah. on the Chinese Communist yes. Party has put this together, right? Yeah. This isn't lobbyist. It's got yeah. nothing to do with Joe Biden. Um, and uh, I like how it's like uh, the power to shut down news sites. TikTok is not a news site. It's used <laughs> it for news. It freaking better not be. Yeah. It's a stupid dancing monkey thing. But yeah. a huge uptick right now in adults are getting their yes, they get uh, news, the news from TikTok. Of course, because you're scrolling through your, yeah. your your dancing monkey bikini crap, and then all of a sudden it's like... Monkeys and bikinis now, wow. Yeah, well, you know how it yeah. goes. It, that's how the algorithm works. Yes. It figures out what you like. <laughs> you're, okay, so you're it's telling go, right now. No, it's going through this crap. And then, <laughs> you got some Wukong in a bikini. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Getting force-fed getting in fed. a cave, you know. <laughs> yeah. Monk bang, dude. <laughs> yeah. So you're doing that, and the next thing that comes up is somebody who says how much they hate America and this and that. Yes. And how China is cool. I bet you, if you're just going through this bikini crap, you're going to get a, a flashy video of uh, Chinese city at night saying yes. how advanced China is. Yeah. I'm just saying. So anyway, he's trying to... Paint this as some kind of a, a, a Joe Biden thing when it's not. Because right? he knows that's going to rile up his, his followers. Yeah. That's the problem. Oh, yes. so you're trying to tell me that all of these very conservative Republicans have met up with some very liberal Democrats and shook hands on something that they deem a very serious national security threat. And all of a sudden now it's about pop politics and populism. Yeah, bullshit, Tucker. That's bullshit. This TikTok thing is not a Trump-Biden thing, okay? No. It is literally a CCP influence operation thing. So it doesn't matter if you're a Trump supporter or you're a Biden supporter. I am not going to judge you either way. Again, no. I'm not American, so I look at this political this circus. This is not that. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with that. It's got to do with, hey, the Chinese government controls this very influential app. It's like as if the Chinese government had a news broadcasting propaganda outlet in America. They have many anyway, but I'm saying yeah. like a big one. You know, like just say CCTV that puts out positive stuff. They've got the biggest station in New York. They broadcast Danner, to your TV. Danner you know? 253 has a really good point. It says you got to <coughs> stop with the red versus blue stuff and actually yes. look at for the stuff for what it is. And that's what this House Select Committee has done. Yes. they. This is beyond... Uh, gender politics or whatever people the the soup du jour is for people yeah that gun get control gun control or any of this stuff this is a very serious issue that people are agreeing upon because it's very bad yes and take it from us people that have been watching china and live there for over a decade yeah it is very bad yeah so please again we want to take these the, the american politics nonsense circus infighting stuff out of this because China is using that to yes. try and prevent this from happening. And Can they're you, very clever. Yeah, let's finish reading these. Okay. So anyway, Crenshaw, Tuck, Tucker says, says uh, okay, Cranshaw tells reporter Liam Crossgrove that U.S. Crossgrove, doesn't matter, whatever, some reporter's name, that U.S. <laughs> intel agencies do not meddle in domestic news coverage when, of course, he knows that's untrue. Watch his face as he says it. Liar. So what did Dan Crenshaw say back? Says Tucker lying for attention as usual. 
Maybe since he lost his production assistance at Fox News, he can no longer do basic research or read short legislation. It's very short. Yeah. Nothing in the TikTok bill gives anyone any authority to shut down new j- news agencies. And that's that should be, you should be accountable for saying such nonsense. Yeah. It's a lie. Exactly. What, what Tucker said. Yeah. It says Tucker is mad about a bill that simply stops the CCP from stealing the data of tens of millions of Americans and using TikTok to push their propaganda. 90% of cons- Conservatives in the House voted for this bill. None of this is surprising since Tucker never misses an opportunity to defend America's enemies and, of course, garner some clicks on his Chinese TikTok account. <laughs> it's pretty obvious yeah. what's going on here. This yeah. America bat, it's like we have reasonable Republicans, we have yep. reasonable Democrats, right? Yep. And I think this type of bill has really brought out some reasonable politicians. Yes. And they're agreeing on something. And then you have a third party in America. And I think this party has been created by Russia and China called yes. America Bad Party. It is the America I, Bad Party. I think party. America Bad could run in America and win today. Yeah, they could. I'm not even joking. Yeah. You could have people like Tucker and all those people represent them. Yeah, the Hinkles and Tuckers and yeah. the whatever else in between. You could, you could have that running as a party as an yeah. influence up from mm-hmm. China and Russia. I think they'd win. Yes. Absolutely. Anyway, guys, uh, now the actual ambassador... American ambassador in China had a couple of words on this we wanted to share with you. Let's take a look. Yeah, this is We've heard a number of complaints from the government here in Beijing this week about uh, the American debate on TikTok. I find it supremely ironic because government officials here are using the X platform to criticize the United States. They don't give their own citizens the right to use X, to use Instagram, to use Facebook, to have access to Google. And so uh, it is ironic indeed that the government here is complaining about a process when they shut down access for 1.4 billion Chinese to all these uh, platforms. Every country has a duty and responsibility to protect its national security. And what the president has done over the last year and a half is to make it impossible uh, for sensitive American technology, advanced semiconductors for AI purposes to be sold to China because we know it will happen. We know that the PLA, the People's Liberation Army, will take advantage of that technology to strengthen itself at the expense of the American military. We're not going to do that. We're not going to compromise on national security, and we're not going to negotiate. And you can bet that the the government here in Beijing is taking similar measures. They have not allowed, for most of the last 20 years, the export of core, sensitive national security applied Chinese technology to the United States. And so, you know, every every government, and certainly our government, has a right to take these decisive steps, and that's what we're doing. I also talked to a lot of businesses, and we all know about the FDI numbers, foreign direct investment, uh, down to the lowest gain since 1993. There is hesitation, not only because of the economy is weak, but also because of the myriad of different national security and the opacity of such policy, especially coming out of the National People's Congress, we didn't get a lot of clarity on policy. We do know, and you were in that uh, 60 Minutes interview where you did talk about U.S. companies such as Bain and Company, Mints, and others who have seen raids and they've seen uh, arrests of U.S. citizens. Can Can you elaborate on the threat and the pall that has been cast over the investment community and doing business, Americans doing business in China at this time? I think this is a question central to the U.S.-China relationship for the next year and and the year beyond. Uh, We have a $575 billion two-way trade relationship. China's the third largest trade partner of the United States. There are thousands of American companies doing business here. Here's the problem. They're hearing conflicting signals. Some senior Chinese government officials say private sector investment is welcome in China, your investment will be protected. But then these companies are also hearing a different message, whether it's the raids against American companies of last March and April, whether it is the opacity of the um, counter-espionage law, where espionage is defined in such a general way that normal activities in any other country of the world, the collection of data, could be construed as espionage. And so we see American firms backing away, or at least being very cautious about investing a lot of money here because they're not sure where the lines are. And I think the voices that they're hearing from the government here in China about national security, they're the strongest and loudest voices right now. How, it's pure Sorry. irony and, mm. and epic epic win from Ambassador Nick Burns. He's been he seems very, like a very reasonable man. Very brilliant on the whole China policy mm-hmm. stuff. And I think he, what he said is so telling. It's the sheer hypocrisy of this whole thing. Yeah. Sheer hypocrisy of China trying to have a say in this TikTok 
ban bill. Yeah. In them banning all of these things and bullying out American businesses. They banned TikTok. Under the guise of national security. They banned TikTok. Yes. How, I mean, how stupid is that, that they oppose the banning of TikTok with so much fervor and like, you are so bad to try and ban TikTok, but they banned TikTok. It's just... Nishwani Zizi. Nishwani Zizi, man. Yeah, CCP. yeah. <laughs> You're talking about yourself there. You know, wow. pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> and I'm happy to see the turtle get some revenge because yeah. I see what happens to those things in China. They cook them alive. We should wash off. The mouse he said, <laughs> the guy, it's kind of cool. But I got my egg this morning. Yeah. What is this? Oh, you know, wasabi. Oh, yeah. I like a bit of wasabi every once nice in a while. Sushi. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Clee. Clef. 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 <laughs> what? So this Ch is going Chinese viral humor again. is really bizarre sometimes. 